pestilence on this duty. It's a punishment posting, standing guard all day and half the night to check travelers' documents. The whole country's on the move, back to their birthplaces. Even this inn so full, people are sleeping in all the stables. To what purpose, I ask you? Taxis, of course. That's the purpose. Taxis. Squeeze them a little harder. Why else take a census? You think it's mere fancy on the part of Caesar Augustus. He needs more money to push forward our frontiers. I suppose you're right. And to keep an eye on these people. They're a turbulent race. As soon as we put down one uprising, there's another. Against Herod, not against us. Or so they say. He murdered his wife and sons. And he's not even one of them. He is a barbarian. Who are the barbarians? Regard this city of David, Bethlehem. Nothing but a collection of mud huts and sheep pens. The home of the warrior king. You were right. Take no more, you said. And bar the gates. The inn's full enough. And out of the kindness of my heart, I gave these two Galileans a space with the donkey. And now there's three of them. At no extra charge. The woman that was with child, she's given birth? Yes. It was... She's had the child? Yes, mother. A son. A little boy. A boy, child. It's a boy. You change your tune since they got here from Galilee. Of all the things to happen, there's no room. No, we can't do anything for you. Well, when it comes to children, even innkeepers like me have hearts. And the mother, such a sweet, gentle person. I like some of the riffraff here. Go, oh, get inside and attend to the rest of the guests. It's a pleasure to give them a roof, unlike some guests. And it came to pass that in those days there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. And Joseph went up from Galilee to Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his wife, who was with child. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room at the inn. Holt, stand where you are. What is your business and where do you go? It was a miracle. We've come to see the baby. We're shepherds, sir. I and my sons were tending our flock out there when suddenly... Suddenly there was a great light. Like as though it was sun up in the middle of the night. And then we saw an angel come down from the sky. And there were hundreds of others. I see. And I suppose he gave you directions to this inn. Yes. He told us that a saviour had been born in David's city. Christ the Lord. Have a care what you say, old man. There's only one lord in this city, and that's Caesar Augustus. Too much wine in the moonlight can make you imagine many sights. But if it's that baby you come to see, you'll find his palace over there, in the end stable. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy that shall be to all people. For this day is born to you a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger. And the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and let us see this word that has come to pass which the Lord hath showed to us. And they came with haste and they found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. 